Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another What's For Dinner video. I've got some delicious and easy meals to share with you. So let's get started. Tonight's dinner was inspired by a bag of chips that despite not being past or even close to its best by date, were slightly stale. And I thought, well, I don't wanna let those go to waste. They're actually some of our favorite chips. Thankfully, the rest of the bags I purchased were not also stale, but we're gonna start by gracing our baking dish. And then these are the chips. You could do this with any chips, of course, but these are Buffalo Ranch Uglies chips. We've eaten some, but they're definitely stale. I'm gonna eat one more, and then I'm gonna crush them up. And I'm just gonna leave them in this bag. So these are Buffalo Ranch, but I'm gonna add in probably just whatever's left of my ranch seasoning, just for a little added flavor. This is like really strong flavor and I like it. Maybe I won't add quite all of it. We're gonna just use this bag to mix everything around. You can see my chicken back here. Um, there's paper towels in there just absorbing the liquid, but um, I did cut them into strips. They're not official chicken strips. They're not all like the same size or anything, but I figured this way, one, they'll, kick, they'll cook quickly, and two, the more flavoring and seasoning they can get on the chicken, the better it's gonna be. So that's what we're doing. The other part to this is we're going to dip them in ranch. So we're gonna have like double the ranch, double the buffalo. So this will be what we'll dip them in so that the um, chips, the crumbs all stick to it. Try not to do too much because I don't wanna waste it. And because these are flavors that we really like, buffalo and ranch, I'm gonna add in a little bit more hot sauce just to give it some kick. All right, here they are. You could also use another bowl for like the chip ranch mixture, but I just figured to use the chip bag. And we're gonna pop these in the oven at 400 degrees. I don't think they'll take more than 20 minutes, but we're gonna do it until they're done. And then we're gonna make up some side salads. Actually, they'll probably be pretty good size salads. So not so much a side salad. That's all we're gonna do. Chicken and salad, it's gonna be delicious. All right, Buffalo Ranch times two chicken. Doesn't look the prettiest, but it cooked faster cutting it up into small pieces and the breading came off a little bit when I served it, but that's okay. And then made ourselves some salads. Eating outside once again. Here's our dinner for tonight. This next one is something I've made a bunch of times and we love it every time. And I do switch up the recipe a little bit. So I will have the original linked down below. But this dinner comes together very quickly, but it is a beef ramen stir fry. And I don't know if carrots are in the original recipe or if it's the broccoli that I add. I don't know. I know I switched things up, but if you want to make it this way and you want to make it even faster, you could buy the matchstick carrots already like cut up. But I really prefer the taste of carrots better when they're freshly cut up. But I don't have a certain amount. I just slice them up and I do cut them up nice and thin. And I'm cooking up one pound of ground beef and a little bit of onion, however much you want. You could also cook the onions later when we're doing the other veggies, but I like my onions cooked a lot if I'm going to eat it. So I cooked it with the meat, and once that is all, uh, once the meat is all cooked and, cooked and no longer pink, we're going to transfer that to another dish, and I have it draining as well. We're gonna use the same pan, putting in a little bit of oil, probably that's avocado oil. We're gonna put in our matchstick carrots, and some broccoli. The broccoli I'm using is frozen. I let it sit out for just a few minutes to make it a little bit easier to cut. Cut it up into smaller pieces, and I'm just cooking that in the pan until our broccoli and carrots are tender. 
And then I am going to season that a little bit with some salt. And this only takes a few minutes. Also on the side, I have some ramen noodles cooking, just the noodles, not the seasoning. And now I'm making a sauce. The recipe calls for soy sauce and brown sugar. I use coconut aminos, which is sweeter. So I'm omitting the brown sugar because I'm just trying to cut back on my sugar intake. So I'm using coconut aminos, sriracha, and some garlic to make our sauce. I'm also putting in a few red pepper flakes. I recommend, so we like do twice the amount of ramen noodles and about two to three times the amount of the sauce. That is just our preference. Once it's all done, I drained the noodles, added the veggies and the meat, and then we're gonna add in the sauce and give this a really good toss. And that's it for dinner. My husband likes to garnish his with some water chestnuts, which I did not have this night. Um, and sometimes some cashews, so that is a great option as well. But this dinner is delicious, and again, I will have the exact recipe linked down below, but I did switch it up a little bit. All right, tonight we're going for another tried and true easy recipe. We're doing breakfast for dinner, <laughs> and we're doing a quiche. We got the pre-made pie crust from Aldi. They came in a two-pack, and I used the other one probably like four weeks ago. So I wanted to use this one. It's still well within the use by date, but I saw it sitting there and thought, all right, let's do this. Share this recipe many, many times. I will leave it linked down below. I have a few, you know, adjustments, but here we go. Steamed up some broccoli. I did not um, cook it quite all the way. Cooked it kind of just before done. And then I did chop it up. I'm gonna to check to make sure I don't have any more pieces that need to be chopped up. This is a lot of broccoli, but I don't mind that at all. I believe that was a uh, 12 ounce bag of broccoli. I am gonna salt this because I feel like veggies need salt. I'm gonna add on some cheese. I shredded up a bunch. And this is the stuff that wouldn't fit in the container. A lot of times when I'm shredding cheese, I just do a bunch of it because I know we'll use it again. This is a combination of mozzarella and white cheddar. I had two blocks that were open in the fridge, so I just shredded them both up for tonight and then to use for whatever. I was gonna cut up some deli meat, but I decided to just do bacon. And I do have some bacon to cook in the fridge, but I decided, decided to just go with these bacon pieces. That may look like a lot, but the recipe calls for a cup of meat. Like if I did ham, I would have put a cup in. So I'm actually not putting in the full amount, even though it looks like a lot. I put in more broccoli than I normally do. So that made, made this a little bit fuller, but that's okay. I'm gonna set this to the side for just a second. I've got six eggs in here. I'm gonna add in three quarters cup of milk. I'm also gonna add in some salt. Feel free to add in some salt and pepper if you like. If you're new, I don't really care for black pepper, so I don't ever add it myself. My husband's free to add it to his portions on things, but I don't like to cook with it. All right, now that we got that mixed together, we're just gonna pour the egg mixture on top. I'm actually gonna do one more egg and a splash of milk because I added so much in here that I feel like there's not enough egg mixture in here. All right, so I actually did two more eggs. <laughs> They're not um, super big eggs either, and so I think that might have been part of it, but that seems a bit better. Hopefully we don't have any spillage. I'll keep an eye on it. Put a little bit more cheese on top. All right, we're gonna put this in the oven at 375 for 30 to 40 minutes. I'm also gonna do these hash brown patties from Aldi. They are supposed to go in at 425, but I'm just gonna, but they only are supposed to take, I think, 20 minutes. So I'm just gonna do them at the 375 for the same amount of time as the quiche, and it should be just fine. I think this took a little longer than normal because I added a couple more eggs and a little more milk, and I'm just gonna let it set for a few minutes to let it set up. An easy dinner to put together and always very delicious, and if you add in the veggies, then it's a pretty well-balanced dinner. Beef Raymond makes an excellent leftover dinner. Beef Raymond stir fry, I should say. I think that's what it's called, but just as good on night number two. All right, so for tonight's dinner, to be perfectly honest, at this point, I don't even really wanna 
eat dinner because we've been eating at weird times today and snacking, but I took some chicken out of the freezer yesterday and we ended up having more leftovers yesterday. So I want to cook it and we'll either eat it tonight or tomorrow, but I took out some chicken and quarters from the freezer yesterday. So let me get those transferred into this pan. I was just greasing it with my fun oil dispenser that's linked down in my description box. Very handy. I have avocado oil in there. All right, I'm going really basic and simple here. I'm going to salt. I only did two chicken quarters, just enough for us to have one meal. They're pretty big, so I think that should be adequate. We're gonna do salt, onion powder, and garlic powder. I've got the oven preheating to 425. They'll probably take 30 to 45 minutes would be my guess. Super quick, simple meal idea. You can also do this on the grill. I'm also adding on some paprika. But sometimes the timing of cooking and eating does not line up with a convenient time to put food on the grill. That's just all there is to it. So I'm gonna pop this up in the oven at 425 till it's mostly done. I might put some barbecue sauce on towards the end. I'm not sure. I'll let you know what I decide. All right, I did use a meat thermometer to check it and we are now up to temperature. So I just, sorry for shaking the camera, pulled them out. I'm just drizzling on some barbecue sauce and I just turned the oil, oh my goodness, the oven onto broil. And I'm just gonna pop these in for a couple minutes and we're gonna whip up some salads really quick. These got done a little quicker than I thought they would, um, but I shouldn't be surprised, it was at 425. And that's gonna be dinner tonight. We did decide we were gonna eat tonight. Super quick and easy for me when it comes to summer meals. Sometimes just like a meat and a veggie is adequate and, you know, enough satisfying. Sorry, that was letting you know that Jesse came in from outside. Okay. And we're going to get those salads done. I'm going to pop this under the broiler. All right, there is our chicken quarters. And then over here, Jesse just made up a couple of salads. Probably will end up breaking up some of the chicken into the salad as I eat it. But there it is, simple dinner. But it's going to be delicious. All right, so for dinner tonight, we're having Domino's. It's actually like afternoon on a Sunday, but that's when we eat our dinner. I would like to say we don't do this often, and we don't. However, we've done it twice recently. But um, anyways, this is what we got. We've got a bacon, if I can open this, pizza with Parmesan garlic sauce, and then a pepperoni pizza. And well, I didn't have a plan and we ate all the leftovers yesterday. So I need to do better planning for Sundays because on Sunday afternoons, I am too tired to cook. We have a pretty full day. And, um, but today pizza it is, and I'm okay with that. Just gonna pop this in the oven for a few minutes. Don't look at the dirty pan that's still on my stove from last night. We're gonna pretend like that's not there. And in just a couple minutes, dinner will be ready. Just like that. That's gonna do it for today's video. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up because that helps me out a ton. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.